Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel. And let's just ignore that I've been gone for a while and look at what is in front of us. This is a shiny new spaceship that I've tossed together in Space Engineers. Because Space Engineers has received some updates, so it finally gave me the gumption to hop back into it and take a look at the, uh, well, shininess that is their new paint job. Everything art-wise has had a little touch, it would appear, where the materials are now rendered a bit differently, and uh, everything kind of looks pretty. Some people have been complaining that maybe some materials are not exactly the color they left it before, but to me, it seems like everything has more depth. In the past, a lot of colors ended up seeming very samey. It seems now like you can get little bits more fine detail out of everything. And anyway, just to mess about with that, I've gone ahead and uh, built some things here. Mainly, I built this new fighter. Um, I'm calling it the Big Engine Numpty Fighter because it's just a random bloody thing I tossed together with some really big engines on it. And you can see, as per usual, I started out with uh, just some basic designs and worked my way up to uh, some more, well, altogether more stable designs. Anyway, I didn't like the engines down there so low. It sort of looked more like a laying cat or almost a dog, probably more like a cat. This actually looks more like a spaceship with the guns slung sort of below the front cockpit, which is what I was going for. And you can see... Uh, not exactly my usual, I've actually took little drops of color into it, considering the recent update. I've also gone ahead and made a b sort of black and gold or black and orange with touches of red version here, and if I turn on my light, you can see the colors show up a little bit more when you get the light directly on it, which I think is actually pretty cool, and it works pretty well because in the dark you can't necessarily tell the difference. I'm actually very happy with the lighting overall in this update, um, and that's my sort of happy version, the version I'm happiest with, even though those are a little bit easier to read the details on. As per usual, I've gone ahead and put some ribbed detail into some of my ships, and uh, this one is no different. The big difference for this, though, would be that, uh, well, there's half blocks in the game, finally. Uh, they've been there for a while, I just never meant, got around to making a video about them. But you can see, if you look around the thruster edges, you'll notice I've used half blocks to go ahead and make that nice thin thing, and the ribs are actually just the full blocks, which give them the appearance of sticking out a half block's length. And I actually uh, really, really like the way it turned out. I'm very happy with all of that. The half blocks mixed with the new colors, mixed with, well, the half blocks add a lot of detail to the ship. As for the ship's actual functions, if we were to go ahead and look inside it, we could fly up to the back of it and stick our heads in here. You'll see the reactor is just right here above it. If we turn on our light, you can see we have our antenna, and then inside it we have some excess space, but our three gyroscopes here, and that's really about it. That's all just thrusters until you get to the front, and then some cargo stuff right down here at the bottom of the ship to, uh, well, hold any ammunition or anything you need. Got to manually load uranium from the back. That's really it. It's a pretty simple craft. So let's hop in it and go shoot at some stuff, shall we? Because, oops, well, what a wonderful start. Be uh, Sage, you fool. Instantly hitting things like a fool. Because uh, shooting stuff is really fun in this. They've updated their damage stuff on things as well, so... Blasting things is way more visceral and far more enjoyable. You might also be wondering what that gigantic orange thing over to my left was. Well, that was my sunblocker, just in case we wanted to see stuff in the shade instead of maybe spawning an asteroid or moving all the ships to the shadowy side of an asteroid or just maybe my sage station or something in the distance. Uh, we could go ahead and remote control that big thing, so I'll just do that right now to demonstrate that as well. Uh, light blocker 9000, remote control. Oh! Which I apparently shot in my busyness. Oops. That wasn't supposed to happen upon pasting it in. There we go. That was more like it. So, we can do our uh, shift K. Go ahead and bring this up. Light blocker right here. Control U. And you can see it's just a gigantic, strange remote control ship. Which, uh, yeah, as you can see on both sides, it's just got a bunch of thruster towers on it. Some hydrogen built in there. And uh, four little hydrogen generators stuck beneath some paneling. It's a super simple ship just to go ahead and remote control so you can block out the sun if you want, or, eh, if you're in the mood, go ahead and crash into something else. Yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it. I just thought I'd, uh, go ahead and show off this ship. It'll be a blueprint available up on the Steam Workshop. It'll be the gray version since it's a little easier to read, and you guys can go ahead and color whatever you like, use it however you like, or just not even bother. This 
may or may not be up there. I don't know. In the future, maybe we'll see it, but who knows. Anyway, that is that. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you all next time. Uh, as for me not being around, not making videos, like I've said in videos before, money was sort of eh, so I had to go ahead and uh, get myself a standard job, except for it's not a 9 to 5, it's a 10 hour job where I uh, stand for four days a week for 10 hours each day. That's very painful on one's feet, which means I come home tired and brain dead because it's a dreary, horrible, thanks so much for watching, you don't want to hear this, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ta!